Hi everybody, my name is Festus Stoll, the director of When You Hear the Divine Call, and I would like to sincerely thank Busan International Short Film Festival for selecting my second documentary. In this film, I travel to my motherland, Kenya, and follow my uncle Mike, who after living in Europe for more than 30 years, has decided to move back to his home country, Kenya, permanently. The film is a cinematographic and poetic journey through Kenya, from the capital of Nairobi to a village, Uyoma, close to the Victoria Lake where my family members live. Meanwhile, my newborn nephew, Jenson, gets baptized in a Dutch church in my hometown, Helmond. I think the film, for me, is a poetical exploration of the concept of home and what it means to the three generations um, in my family. So my Uncle Mike, myself, and my newborn nephew, Jenson. So besides being the director, I also did the cinematography of this film. And for me, making When You Hear The Divine Call really was a personal quest for identity, family, roots, and the meaning of home. And instead of documenting this trip in a very traditional way, I was really looking to give the audience an experience as if they were traveling to Kenya with me. So once again, I would really like to thank Busan International Short Film Festival for selecting my film. I feel really honored. This is the first time a film of mine travels outside of the Netherlands and outside of Europe. So I really feel sad that I can't travel to South Korea to experience this beautiful moment and opportunity. Thanks anyway and enjoy watching the film. Hopefully we'll meet soon. Bye. Hello, my name is Tom Lunsoff and I'm the co-writer and director of the short film Harmonia. The film is part of my graduation project from the Film Academy in Amsterdam and I'm very grateful and also want to thank the festival for this selection. The film is about a young student who wants to join the selection team of her student rowing club at all costs. Her friends, family and even her own happiness seem less important. At the same time, we also follow the stories of a handful of students in the same university. A bigger story where everyone struggles with the same growing pressure. In this way, we wanted to make a story about a generation facing an ever-growing pressure to achieve. Something we not only experienced ourselves, also while making this film, uh, but also saw more and more around us. And when we wrote this story, we also did a lot of interviews, spoke a lot of students, uh, and this really gave us a clear picture about the pressure they feel pressure to distinguish yourself and have a chance of a great career. And instead of a conventional linear story about this pressure, we wanted to make a film about the experience, a film where the experience comes first. And we try to create this with as much visible elements available to us. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and thanks for taking the time to watch it. Hello Busan, I hope you're all enjoying the festival. This is my first international selection in my career as a director, so it's a great opportunity and a huge honor to have been selected into the Busan International Short Film Festival. Old Born is my graduation short film, and even though it tells the story through a fantasy lens, it's mostly based on my experiences and feelings from my own childhood. So I hope you also recognize these feelings and experiences in the film, and I hope you enjoy it. During my film studies, I developed an affection for Asian cinema and I combined a lot of elements from various Asian cultures in this movie as well. And it would be my dream to one day collaborate with Korean directors. So this selection at the Busan International Short Film Festival seems to me like an opportunity to get to know other directors. So if you like my film, feel free to send me a message on any of my social medias. And I hope you enjoy. Hola, un saludo muy especial desde Medellín, Colombia, a toda la audiencia del Festival de Cortos de Busan, mi nombre es Mauricio Maldonado y soy el director del cortometraje Las Fauces. Es un relato de orfandad, de violencia, de adolescencia en un tono muy fantasmagórico y onírico guiado por un personaje que habita las laderas de la periferia eh, de la ciudad y mientras atraviesa un momento de duelo tiene como un encuentro muy amenazante con un grupo de adolescentes que empieza a merodear las montañas por donde él habita. Y es a través de un misterioso personaje que la distancia frente a esa amenaza se transforma convirtiéndose en un encuentro de acogimiento, como en una experiencia de encontrar una nueva familia en medio de la soledad. Con esta película quisimos explorar de forma muy atmosférica y meditativa 
eh, sitios cercanos en las afueras de la ciudad, también aprovechando lo que nos rodeaba. Eh, tuvimos la oportunidad de trabajar con actores no profesionales que vivían alrededor de esta zona para lograr como una armonía mayor en la energía del relato. Muchas gracias al festival por permitirnos hacer parte de su selección, es un orgullo eh, y es la primera vez que un cortometraje que dirijo eh, se exhibe en su país, entonces muy contentos por poder compartirlo con ustedes, así que les envío un fuerte abrazo y espero que tengan un hermoso evento. Hi, I'm Susanna Morgani, I'm a filmmaker from Sudan. Uh, my film is called El Sit and it's the story of a young girl's arranged marriage in a cotton farming village in Sudan. Uh, the story is about how all of her family members are arguing about whether the marriage should go ahead or not. Everybody apart from the bride-to-be. Uh, she watches silently as her family members argue about her future. So I always wondered what goes through the mind of a young girl in this situation. So we see the film through her eyes and we follow her story as she sees it. So we're really sorry we couldn't be with you in South Korea for the screening, uh, but at least this way a little bit of Sudan is coming your way and you can get a little bit of a glimpse into uh, some parts of Sudanese life and uh, Sudanese culture. So we really hope you enjoy the film. Hi people from Busan, I'm Danilo, one of the directors of La Espera. I'm Jakob Cresce, one of the directors of La Espera. And we are super happy and overwhelmed that uh, our movie got selected and is going to be shown in Busan. Um, and we are super happy that it's even going to be shown in cinemas, uh, which is a rare privilege these days. In this moment where it's so difficult to, to travel, it's an especially hard moment to be in Brazil and it's very hard also for the migrant people. Our film La Espera um, is, uh, plays in one night uh, out of a journey of um, two months and a half of 4,000 kilometers between Honduras and Tijuana. And um, it is in this one night where the migrant caravan has to decide whether they have to jump the train or not. Uh, we try to portray uh, the difference between the, the gender roles in such a, a situation, um, the excitement and the adventure of the young man, the deep, deep um, doubts and uh, dilemma of a mother traveling with their kids. And in our journey um, of these two months and a half, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it always accompanied us and we wanted to show it in this moment, which was some kind of a climax of the migrant caravan because we were stuck in the desert, there was no food, almost no water, and um, people were afraid of the train. Um, so yeah, this is a small glimpse in our journey. Uh, we just finished uh, the long feature, which um, yeah, maybe you can see at some point as well. So have a good film, enjoy it. Enjoy, many greetings from Berlin and uh, from Sao Paulo. I hope um, you enjoy the movie and maybe we see each other next year in, uh, in a live event. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, I'm Yao Ming, um, the director and actor of this film. This story is based on my own experience when I was 16 years old. The film was made to express my gratitude to my father and to explore a um, moment thought of human beings. The whole story takes place on a journey. Uh, we can see the main character that I play trapped in a car, uh, but we don't know where the car is going. We try to make the audiovisual immersive so that the audience can feel the chaos to explode 
into peace and quiet. In photography, the perspective of the child is given priority to, and the father is、um, relatively blurred. The attempt to music is a collision of the act music and modern music. We use like、uh, more than sixteen instruments, including Mongolia guitar, melt harp, like、uh, electric guitar, synthesizer,、um, etc. In short, it's been an amazing artistic journey for me. So. I hope you guys enjoy the film. Thank you.